boys and girls. Did you know that on Saturday, the 9th of May, this Saturday, we celebrate Europe Day. Now, if we were in school, it would be our Spring Fest, okay? Remember that really fun day that we had last year and the year before? Well, this year, unfortunately, we cannot have our Spring Fest, but it's still Europe Day, and we're going to mark that by writing a fact file about a European country. Specifically, a country that's in the European Union. I'm going to write about Ireland. A lot of people think that Ireland is no longer in the European Union, but it is. So Great Britain, or sorry, the United Kingdom, decided to leave the European Union and the United Kingdom is made up of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. That's England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. I say Ireland, but the real name of my country is the Republic of Ireland, okay? Now, um, you can choose the country that you're from or maybe the country that one of your parents is from or a country that you visited and you really liked or a country that you'd like to visit. You can choose any country you like. You can choose Spain if you want, okay? The main thing is that you use the words that I'm giving you, um, that you pay attention to spellings and that you do everything in English, okay? So let's get started. I'm going to turn this camera. Hopefully you'll be able to see. I'm going to... Okay, let me see. It's not very professional here, but we'll do our best. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, have to do. Right. So I'll put down country. Colon. Okay, and I have a capital C because in my fact file I want each heading to have a capital letter. So country and the name of my country, which again gets capital letters, is the Republic of Ireland. Okay, um, what am I going to put down? I'm going to put down capital city. So we all know the capital city is the main city. Okay. So the capital city of the Republic of Ireland, do you know it? Maybe you've been there. I'm from the capital city, which is Dublin. And again, it's very important that I give Dublin a capital letter, okay? Other main cities, not the capital, but other cities in Ireland, we have Cork, Galway, and Limerick. Okay. Some of you might think Belfast, but no, because Belfast is in Northern Ireland. It's a very nice city, but it's not in the Republic of Ireland. It's in Northern Ireland. Now, what else could I improve on my, uh, include in my fact file? Maybe the population. Now the population, boys and girls, is the number of people. P for people, P for population, the number of people in Ireland. And it's around, look at this sign, around equal to, okay? So not exactly equal to, but around equal to five million people, okay? And I think one and a half million live in Dublin. Okay, so the population of Spain, for example, is much bigger. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it'd be about 10 times bigger, maybe 50 million around that. What else could I include now? Hmm, I'm trying to think. I could include a picture of the flag. Now, let me see. I only have a, a pink marker here. Ah, I have some more markers. Um, so the Irish flag. Green, white, and orange. Is this orange or is it red? 
looks mm, orangey red anyway it's green white and orange is the irish flag that looks a bit like red looks italian but it's all i have okay it's supposed to be orange um i can draw a picture of the flag oh very important especially given what i teach you what languages do they speak in ireland or official languages well the official languages we have two we have english and we have Gwaelga. Okay, now Gwaelga, in English we call it Irish, but the name of our language is Gwaelga. But everybody speaks English. Not everybody knows how to speak Gwaelga, but everybody learns it in school. To be a primary school teacher like me, you need to know how to speak Irish. Okay, so I can speak Gwaelga, Miss Quinn can speak Gwaelga, Mr. Cregan can speak it etc. Um, what else? Uh, famous, I could put in maybe famous Irish people. So let me see. Well, we have lots of famous Irish people, but I'm trying to think of people you might know. Some people who really like football might have heard of Roy Keane. He's probably the most famous Irish footballer. He used to play for Manchester United. Maybe you heard of him. Um, who else you might know? Bono is a very famous singer from the group U2. In Spain, they call it, call it Udos. <laughs> we call it U2. He's a famous singer. Um, and lots of artists and poets and writers. So I'll give you the name of a famous Irish writer. I don't think you'll know him, but we'll say James Joyce. Okay. And now I could give, there's lots of other things I could say. I could say famous for. So what is Ireland famous for? Well, we're famous for our music, Irish music and dancing, Irish dancing. Okay, we're famous for Guinness, which is a drink, an Irish beer, a dark beer. Well, it's a stout. And we're famous for um, the Wild Atlantic Way, which is a very popular route that people go on holidays, okay? A winding route that goes along the west coast of Ireland. So, there's my fact file. I could write lots more, but you can see that I ran, I ran out of space, okay? But maybe you could include, if you wanted to, the national symbol of the country. You maybe might include some national landmarks like in France, for example, the Eiffel Tower is a famous landmark. In Italy, you might put down the, the Leaning Tower of Pisa or the Colosseum in Rome, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, mine is just an idea. You guys have to pick a country and create a fact file, okay? You can write it just like me. Well, not just like me on a whiteboard, but write it on a piece of paper. Or you can put it on a Word document if you prefer, or in a PowerPoint, up to you, okay? That's your job for today. Bye.